Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we're gonna talk about the filters. After this tutorial you will clearly understand how it works and where you can use it. Filters it's really huge topic, but I'll try to show you only the main thing which you will use in everyday tasking. If you are interesting and if you are ready, let's get started. In Revit we have a lot of ways how you can reach the filters. I will show you three of them. First way, you will go to the view tab and here you will find the filters. This way, most directly one and this directly switch you to the filters window. The second way, we will use the visibility graphics. So let's go by to the visibility graphics. Here under the pop-up window, you will find the filter tab. As you can see, we have here a bit more settings. The reason why we can apply our filters here to the, our current view. The last way to find the filters, we will go to the our view template and after that to the settings or the manage our view templates and here you will find the similar settings like a previous one. But now we can apply our filters not only for the existing view, now we can apply it for every view which using the our template. So let's go to the uh, view tab and here we will find again the filters. You can use any way what you see before. After that we will uh, go to the filters and you will find here the filters which we have right now in our project. So it means now we have the, this, the list filters only in this project. Okay, let's uh, create the new one. I will create the new one and let's call it like a test. Okay. Uh, let's say okay. As you can see uh, now our um, new test filter under the rule based, it doesn't matter. The main thing here the filter list. Filter list this means which the category of the our discipline we will use. If you will open up it you will see we have here architecture, structure, mechanical, electrical and piping. Of course I will use only architecture one but if you want the all disciplines you can click on that and for example have it everything here on the list but I will use only architect one so the second thing after that you should find we should find now which the category we want to use let's say we want to create right now the filter for our walls so the category walls this is walls let's find the wall this here wall let's apply it now we will uh, this our filter will work only for category the wall so we will see the other categories after that so now we did it so we choose uh, the our category the wall and after that we have here the rules so the rules we should uh, create our rules what we want to do with walls which type the walls we will uh, filter for example we have the wall and we have for example some family name let's find here the family name family name uh, and let's make it equal so if our wall have family name to for example basic wall this filter will work let's say ok and now we have now new filter this filter will works only with the basic wall family how it will works Let's go to the uh, visual uh, visibility graphics and here we will find the filter. After that we will add new filter, so our test filter. Let's say OK. As you can see here is our filter. And as you can see for example here the visibility graphics is on. So we can see our walls which the basic walls under the family basic wall. Let's unswitch it to understand what's going on and let's apply it. And now as you can see all families which uh, under the family type of the basic wall now hide it. Let's apply it again and we can see our walls back. For example we want to change the um, projection surface pattern. Let's make it um, for example red one. Let's say ok, let's say ok and let's apply it and now it's red one. Now you can see these walls is the basic walls category and we now filtering all this basic wall category. In Revit we can filter by two different ways. The first way this is true or false. So I mean 
there's two ways actually first it's true the second one is false what i mean so we can filter for example now uh for example let's say our walls he's our uh, filter if our walls equals to the basic wall let's say uh it will have some color right let's add our test it will have the color okay, as we already did let's make it blue right now let's apply it let's apply it so if it's true all our walls it's blue nice so let's change it to the false uh, let's uh, edit our test and let's say if it's not equal doesn't equal to the basic wall it will be blue let's say okay and as you can see the different way now if it's not uh, the basic wall as you can see here is the it's not basic wall this is a curtain wall it's blue so we are making the opposite one and as you can see here is the walls inside it's also the blue because this is not the basic wall if it's not basic wall this is blue so you have two ways it will be equal or not but as you understand in Revit we have not only equal or not equal the filters uh, we will go back to the filter I mean the settings uh, here you find again our filter and let's see here's the equal let's add the rule so it means we can filter not by only one rule we can create as much as we can let's say we want filter by Mm, this will be equal uh, wall equal to the basic one and we want volume no uh, it mm, is greater than let's say 10 square meter let's say okay let's see what we will get now as you can see the filter working only for the basic wall the family type and greater than 10 square meter if we'll go back to the filter we can add one more rule let's add the one more rule and uh, let's say the area will be greater than 10. 10 let's say let's see what we'll get the same maybe we will say maybe 50 cubic meter and as you can see now we get only these walls without that one if I will say uh, 100 cubic meter, oh, I mean the square meter, we will get only these three walls. As you can see, we can create a lot of different parameters to select or choose only the walls, not only walls, I mean only objects, what we want. So I am using now three parameters and if everything equal, if everything true, we will select it but it's not finished in Revit we also have the parameter it's called R so it means we can use or for example um, the wall greater than 10 square meter or less than 50 square meter let's create this filter it's a really interesting filter uh, to change our end to the R we just will select it and we will change to the R and let's say oh sorry test one or we want to use for example uh, volume equals to the mm, to the uh, not equal let's make it less than where is this less than uh, 10 square meter and I want to add the rule we want the volume greater than 100 meter as you can see now we have two different parameters and Revit we will, uh, uh, we will select the walls which uh, less than 10 square meter, uh, 10 cubic meter and uh, greater than 100 cubic meter. Let's say OK. And we did it. As you can see this is uh, greater than 100 cubic meter and we not will choose it. So it's a really interesting thing with the filter, you can uh, create the sets, for example, uh, or this one and these parameters. As you can see, you can apply it, so you can create the, any logic parameters as you want. You, and the nice thing in the um, Revit, you can create not only for the walls, you can create it, for example, for the walls and windows. 
but the thing one the parameter should be be same so you cannot choose the wall for example and choose the window uh, because uh, I mean with the uh, parameter let's say um, the uh, volume because the uh, your door doesn't have the parameter volume your wall have but your window doesn't so that's why we ha don't have here the volume but we have the name for example family name it can be same we have here here for example type name it can be same and we have some additional parameters like assembly code and assembly name blah 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 and for example comments we can make it same so you can for example choose the window and you can choose the doors where is our doors and they will have pretty same parameters because the windows and walls working um, uh, windows and uh, doors working um, pretty same close last one and most powerful thing in Revit you can create your own parameter and you can apply for all category in Revit so let's create it uh, as you already know this is uh, to create a new parameter you should go to the manage and you should find here for example the project parameter let's find here project parameter and add it and let's call it test so this it's already you understand so we are using every test everywhere so test and let's make it instance let's leave it instance the parameter will be text I want to leave it like test and as you can see here we have a lot of the different categories in Revit like a stair, side, rooms, roof and all of them have a different um, strategic to use it let's check it all as you can see and let's say ok let's say ok and now whenever whatever you will uh, select we will have the parameter test as you can see here is the test parameter let's select this wall where is the wall let's select this one test parameter as you can see here is the one test parameter everything have the test parameter this is cool thing because you can create your own parameter you can after that go to the filter and you can filter by this test parameter for example wall and let's find it place t t t test parameter as you can see you can create your own parameter if for example Revit doesn't have this parameter right for example you create uh, your wall and window and you want to create your own parameter to filter it window and wall but how you will filter it if you doesn't have uh, the like shared uh, any shared parameter so you will create it for the wall and window you will uh, apply some settings there and after that you can filter by the filters so as you can see it's pretty simple now you know all the function about the filters and you can now use it in any your project you can filter everything in your project and you can apply it use it and believe me it will make your life much easier if you want go to the more deeper to the filter maybe i will create the tutorial about that later on or maybe i will create the stream anyway don't forget about the comments and like and if you have some ideas or something else just leave the comment below this video and I will try to answer on that or maybe you will help to the some other viewers thank you guys for watching and see you next time